Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today. I'm joined with none other than Fab Han. Fab Han, fabulous. Fabulous Hannah here today. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Essex. But to be honest, I don't feel like I'm the most Essex person ever. I don't. I disagree. <laughs> You're very. <laughs> a lot of people say I have quite a strong accent, but there are people with a lot stronger accents than me. From where? Well, like, still from Essex, but I feel like I'm quite a posh Essex. Really? <laughs> we yes, can have a poll. <laughs> I, no, like, whenever, like, I'm listening to your stories and I'm eating dinner, I'm always, I always turn it up and be like, listen to her accent. It's, like, so iconically Essex. And everyone laughs about it. Laughs? No, it's endearing. It's a oh, lovely okay, accent. That's good. So today, Hannah is going to be quizzing me on how much I know Essex slang, which today I found out there's slang specifically from that area. Yeah. A lot. There actually is quite a lot of slang. I feel like it's Essex slash like South London. Oh, okay. Do you know what Cockney rhyming slang is? I know all the Cockney rhyming slang. Oh, do you? Apples you and might pears. Know oh, that's the most basic one ever. Well, I know that. <laughs> Obviously know Skin it. and blister. Oh, that's On my dog and bone with my finger and thumb. Oh my God, look at you go. <laughs> you little geezer. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, geezer. I know that one. <laughs> you know that. Okay, you, so. It's a geyser. A what? Geyser. <laughs> it shoots water out. Oh, a geezer. A geezer. Yeah, right? <laughs> First That's... word is, I'm going to say it in a less Essex accent because otherwise I feel like you might know it. So I'm going to say it quite posh and then I'll tell you how I'd actually say it. Alma chiz it. How much is it? <gasps> yeah. Alma, Alma chiz it. Alma chiz it. Yeah. That's, oh my God, that was good. Okay, next one is a man. A man? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oman, the country in the Middle East. No. A man. Like, oh, man. No, okay. the answer is a quantity or a sum total, like a man amount. What? A man. I, I need a man of that. I need a, a man. Yeah. Oh, I had a man of fries. Yeah, kind of. A man? <laughs> I've never heard of this. Okay. It's just a very poorly pronounced word, amount. Do you amount. say a man? I say amount. So, kind of in between. Partial okay. six. Daniel. Oh, I would say Daniel. Daniel. No, Daniel. Daniel. Dan I really thought I'd be able to get a lot of these. Dan Hill. I thought this was quite an easy one. Downtown. No, close. Dan, Dan, London, Lon London Town. Dan Hill. Downhill. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dan Hill is downhill. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's been. So pronounced. you're going Dan Hill. Yeah, going Dan Hill. I think if you saw the spelling, it would mm -hmm. make it'd it be worse. Easier. No, I think it makes oh. it worse. Right, Essex. Essex. No, Fx. Fx. Spell E F F I X. I really thought it would do well. Fx. Effects. No. No. Uh, Jim, I'll fix it. No, you're so close though when you're saying FX. it. Fx. Fx. Oh, I know it's like clearly like a different pronunciation, but yeah, it is moral principles. So like ethics. Oh my god. Fx. He's got strong ethics. Fx. He's got well good ethics. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm really trying to learn from these. So I can figure out the TH is now an F. Yeah. Very important one. Mm. So this one is Furrock. Furrock. Is that an area next to, like, Suffolk? No, but it is an area. Okay. So what is it again? So Furrock. Furrock. These comments are going to be like, she speaks so badly. Furrock. I'm trying to think of all the cities I know in Essex. Chelmsford, Southend, Basildon. Furrock. Furrock. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually Furrock. And this is where Lakeside is. Do you know what Lakeside is? Yeah, the Lakeside has the Taco Bell. Lakeside Shopping Centre, yeah, yes. Course. The Mothership. The Very Mothership. Very important you know Furrock. Furrock. Because that's where you've got to go to Lakeside. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, we have Na Mean in New Jersey. Yeah, for what? Just Na Mean. Oh, Na Mean? Na Mean? Na Mean? Oh, that's kind of similar then. Do you yeah. know what We've I mean? got another place. I feel like this one's quite easy. South End. Oh, South End. South End. But with an F. Have you ever been to South End? No. Don't I know they up. have an airport that they decided to put London in front of. Like, oh, it's London, South End. Oh, no, it's, it's not. not. It's Essex, it's South End. Essex, South End. <laughs> Next one, tan. Most Essex girls have fake tan. Yeah, you're not wrong. Going into tan? Yeah, that's what I was going for. Going London. into town. Oh, okay, like okay. Tan, going to oh, tan. head tan? Yeah. Going, going tan. tan. <laughs> that's so different pronounce of town. Okay, next one is, what do you reckon? Oh, what do you reckon? Yeah. How much does that cost? Yeah, what do you reckon? Oh, what do you reckon? What do you reckon that is? I've heard that. What do you reckon? Yeah. It's very Brit. Yeah, it's very British. I don't think we'd say that in the US. Look how it's spelt, though. Would you reckon? reckon? <laughs> would you reckon, Ralph? Your next one is Webouts. Whereabouts are you from? Yeah! Webouts. Go on, Evan. Get your Webouts out. <laughs> Just go tail in your face. <laughs> next one is Jafta. Jafta. I was thinking Jaffa Cake, but it's like, do you have to? Yes. Jafta do that? Jafta. Jafta. I'm coming back. Yeah, you're getting there. Next one. This is an easy one. You'll get this. Piana. Piano. Piano, yeah, piano. Oh, I think my mom used to say, like, you playing piano? 
Piano. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that sounds quite American, actually. Yeah. So, a score. Do you know what a score is? It's an amount of something. Like, I'll have a score of eggs, please. You're close. Oh. So, do you want me to tell you? A or? school? No. I have no clue. It means £20. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. So, if someone gives you a score, they give you 20 quid. I can't believe I've genuinely never heard... That feels like a popular slang. I'd use that. Because I say yeah. quid. Do you? I say you tenner. Say quid. But you don't say 20 or... No, exactly. It's a score. Next one is Baz Vegas. Is this what you call Basil in on a night out? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Baz Vegas? How did you know that? Let's go to Baz Vegas. I'm thinking Basil in. And then just... <laughs> oh, so it's like when you're dressed to the nines to go to Basil. I, I mean, you could just say Baz Vegas whenever you want. Like, I'm just going to pop to Baz Vegas. It's like Shepherd's Bush. People say, oh, I'm going to Shebu. Do they? It's like... Shibu. Shibu. No one says it. I say it, but <laughs> you say it. just me. Just you. I say this one quite a lot, so boat race. This is Cockney rhyming slang. Oh, it is. Okay, I was thinking of a regatta <laughs> in Essex. Pop it down to the boat, boat race that. is... I need more boat race. Some space. No, but that's a really good guess, actually. <laughs> but it's wrong. Mm. The answer is face. Like, look at this boat race. That's so easy. What was wrong with me? Also, why would you call someone's face a boat race? I don't know. I do it quite a lot. I'm like, oh, it sticks to me boat race. Like when I'm doing my makeup, like I'm doing my boat race. I, I guess if I, I, can't, I thought I knew the slang. Right, next one though. You'll know this one, I think. I right, geese. I right, geezer. How's it going? Like, you yeah. all right, geese? Yeah, all right, geese. Or if you're like at the park, you're like, how are you doing, geese? Yeah. Or, Punk. or you could like agree with someone. I right, geese. Like they could say something and be like, I geez. Oh, okay, I geez. I was I thinking geez. of like, how are you? Just, I geez. I geez. Imagine if that's how I started my video. Is that geez? I geez. <laughs> bam, bam, here. Give me the ump. Give me the ump. The umpire? The ump. Ump. Give me the ump. Uh, are, are you asking for a shag? You want to give the hump? Not at all. <laughs> In fact, like the opposite. So all right, like, give me the ump. So, the, like, the context would be, oh, he's going to give me the ump. Well, that still sounds awful. But he's going to give me the ump. He's going to give me the like, ump. I'd be like, oh, stop it, you're going to give me the ump. I'm gonna throw up. No, it's oh. so funny because it seems so obvious to me. <laughs> and I genuinely, I, I honestly thought this would be like too embarrassingly easy for me, but obviously not. Ump means he's gonna give me a slump in my mental attitude. Make I sense. guess you're kind of close, yeah. So it's if someone was gonna annoy you. So like, give me the hump, like you're gonna give me the ump. Oh, it's gonna give me the like hump. Give me the hump. I don't actually know where that comes from. I don't yeah, know just, why I say that. But give me the ump means like, just yeah. means annoyed. Yeah, like, like, uh, like stop doing that, you're gonna give me the ump. Tong. Pete Tong. Oh, I love that Pete Tong by Bieber. Oh, song. No. Oh, I guess I'm Pete Tong. Wrong. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wrong. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're Pete, right. <laughs> so Pete Tong just means wrong. Wrong, yeah. Like, I've used this one quite a lot recently. Like, oh, my life's going Pete Tong. It's going wrong. I feel bad for it. I actually went to work with a guy named Pete Tong, so. Like, no yeah, he was an artist at the uh, app I was working for. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to message him and be like, you're wrong. Oh my god, another Cockney rhyme is like, Ruby Murray. Oh, that's a curry. Yes. Because uh, there's a burger joint that had the Ruby Murray burger and it was like a curry burger. Oh my god, I love that. That's the how you know it. GBK. Okay, the next one is butters. People probably say like butters. Like from South Park is what I'm thinking of. Butters. Oh, butters. No, um, I wish it was that. That would have been a lot nicer. Seems ugly. It means like, like you say, like, oh, she's butters. Oh, she's well, butters. I wouldn't say that, but people say, oh, they're butters. Like, oh, like butterface. That's what it's short for. Is it? Yeah, butters is like, in American slang, it's like, oh, she's got a butterface. She's got a great body. Butterface. Oh. Oh, I get you. Yeah, it's obviously, I wouldn't say this, but it's something that you yeah. hear as a kid and you're yeah. like, oh, butters. You're she's got the butters. me things. Also, uh, he's having a good time back there. Gonna yeah. knock over my candle. Next one is muggy. Like bad weather, it's a bit muggy out. Oh, or I mean, that's, that man yeah, that's was dressed wrong. like he was muggy. That is wrong, that's but that, no, that's right. But that's not the one I was thinking of. Muggy, I was thinking like, oh, he, that's muggy. Like if you say something that's like minging. Like what? Minging. 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 That's like that means something very different. <laughs> muggy is like if someone says something to embarrass you, you're like that's so muggy. Like why would you say that in front of? Everyone? Like you mugged me off. Yeah. Oh, I've yeah. heard that. Yeah. So muggy is it mugged muggy, me off. Like, oh. being muggy, like, like if I said something you. embarrassing in front of you, it'd be like oh you mugged me. I'm muggy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the exactly. next word is bait. B a i t. All right. She's a hot woman. She's bait. No. It's like when you're baiting someone to fight you. That was just bait. 
Like he um, said something instigatory. No, but they are very good guesses. I'm not used to having them in here. I'm sorry, is this right? <laughs> not Cockney rhyming slang. Bait means very obvious. <laughs> like that's Which like makes bait. sense as a word. Yeah. So if some like if you liked a guy and your friend like said something to them that was really obvious, you'd be like, "That's so bait. Why would you say that?" So obvious. So if, so, so obvious. So if you yeah. say something obvious to a friend. Yeah. Like, kind of. Like say say there's two girls and a guy. Mm -hmm. One of the girls likes the guy. The friend goes over and be like, oh, why don't you talk to her? And you'd be like, oh. you say to your friend, that's so bait. Like, why would you say that to him? Like, because that's so obvious. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah. I explained that badly, but uh, you get Now I get it. The I feel like that's one. not a word I'm going to really use that often, but I'm trying to use the other ones. <laughs> the next one is brown bread. <laughs> Dead. Dead. I know that one. That's got yes. right. That's very good. <laughs> He's just brown bread. Right. Okay. Next up, we've got... This one's got a bit confusing, so... Proper, like ah. Oh, I want proper. a proper curry, like a like a really good thing. Like it's like the pro. I don't know proper, like proper burger, proper. Oh, like or prim and proper, like very posh. No, you were kind of right with the first one. So it means very. So you'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, he's proper dodgy. Oh yeah, he's proper. Like oh yeah, I've dodgy. used that before. Yeah, like proper dodgy. Okay, uh, yeah. I've okay, used that. Get that one. Okay. Next one is have it. When you want to fight. All right, let's have it. Yeah, it kind of could be. Yeah, that's kind of right. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, normally it would be, like, to have something. But in Essex it would be like, oh, tonight we're going to have it. Have a great time. Like, have a, have really a party. Time. Yeah, Aye. Really yeah. Right. We've got a bit of me. I say this one a lot. That's a bit of me. That's a bit of me. That's very my vibe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Go okay. Go on, you that's smashed that me. one. Okay, and then the last one. I feel like you might know this. A weapon. Well, as an American, sadly, I do know this. Uh, <laughs> a weapon is an attractive woman, so you're like, oh, she's an absolute weapon. Really? Yeah. That's quite common as well, that one. She's absolute a weapon. weapon. Yeah. Or you could have worldy or rocket, like she's a weapon or she's, she's a She's a rocket? Yeah, it goes like... She's I'd a worldy it goes, makes it goes sense. rocket, weapon, worldy. Oh. In my opinion, anyway. Some may disagree. <laughs> Useful. <laughs> gonna flirt with women from Essex and call you them are world a weapon. <laughs> no, I probably would say to a woman. Oh, just about them. About them, yeah. All right, that goes. If someone came up to me and was like, "You are a weapon," I'd be like, "Um, thanks." That's true. It's not like the biggest compliment. <laughs> so. I think my favorite one was definitely ethics. Ethics. That one just got me real Ethics, Yeah, that took me a while. <laughs> that one. My favorite is how much is it? How much is how it? How much is it? Like that's such a Romford Market kind of slang. Like you go to the market. Like how, how much, much is, is it? it? Yeah, like two for a fiver, two for a fiver. Actually, no, then you wouldn't ask how much is it because you know. <laughs> you're just deaf. <laughs> yeah. How much is it? How much is it? <laughs> two for a fiver, love. I'm talking to someone in retail. I try and pretend to be British a little bit. So Do like, you? Thank you very much. How much is that? No, Cheers, no, mate. Be like, and they're probably Thank like, you very much. There? How much is it? <laughs> how much is it? Did you like it anyway as Essex? Or the only way is Essex? Do I like it? Mm, Does it do I you feel like it to. represents? your people no but i oh. do feel like it's given us a brand and before essex was just essex and now it's and like now it's essex, essex. i guess that's thing. the same with new jersey sadly really yeah the jersey shore oh yeah yeah so Destroyed it kind of gives you puppy. a name <laughs> yeah. Even if a it's great a name <laughs> yeah. anyway uh, thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed it tell me if we missed out any good essex slang that i should add to my vernacular and also we did a video on hannah's channel about what what do we do what we swapped childhood foods british oh versus american well, if you want to watch that, click on the link below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, kitty. <laughs>